Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, in the comments on this channel, I do see a lot of comparison when it comes to comparing Windows 10 over Windows 11. And just to do a quick video regarding a couple of reasons why I think um, most users prefer Windows 10 over Windows 11. Now, this is not a comprehensive list and is in no particular order. And the first is that obviously the system requirements to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 are quite strict. And there are a lot of devices, including this device of mine, that doesn't meet the system requirements to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, I don't mind on this device because I actually like my old Windows 10 device. There's no need for me to upgrade to Windows 11 on this device. But I think that was a big one um, where obviously the system requirements to support older Windows 10 hardware were not met with uh, Windows 11. And then when it comes to customization, I think some would agree that there are better um, customization options available in Windows 10. So in Windows 11, the taskbar can only be placed uh, at the bottom of the screen. Where in Windows 10, you can move this taskbar to the left, to the right, and to the top. So that's just one example. Uh, you can also change the taskbar size. You can change the start menus size, which is something I wish Microsoft would bring into Windows 11 just to get rid of a whole lot of wasted screen real estate. So that's just two uh, simple examples. And, uh, and those features are quite limited and when it comes to Windows 11. Then I think that since Microsoft did roll out Windows 10 back in 2015, uh, the operating system compared to Windows 11, some would agree is a lot more stable than Windows 11 because obviously Windows 11 um, is still a newly um, released OS compared to Windows 10, although they are more or less um, at their foundation and core very similar. But the introduction of new features in Windows 11 and the new user interface and so on um, has caused instability in a lot of areas. And one of those would be the File Explorer um, in Windows 11. I still feel that Microsoft has a lot of work to do in the File Explorer um, on Windows 11. So um, I'm, I think a lot of you would agree that Windows 10 at its heart and core is a lot more stable when it comes to stability compared to Windows 11. Then another um, reason that could impact Windows 10 being preferred over Windows 11 is the familiar layout of the Start menu, where the Start menu in Windows 11 is centered. As mentioned, you can't resize it. You don't have live tiles. Um, the All Apps list is here uh, to the right in of the start menu in Windows 11 where in Windows 10 the all apps list is here where it was always um, for many years to the left hand side of the start menu so I think it's got a more familiar layout in Windows 10 so that's why I think um, that could be another reason why Windows 10 is preferred over Windows 11 and then I'm just going to mention this next one uh, if you are using the tablet mode on Windows 10 um, I think you would agree that it works a lot better than tablet mode on Windows 11. And then when it comes to being compatible, I think there are many businesses who still rely on legacy software that isn't completely uh, fully compatible with Windows 11. So Windows 10 does give better support for a lot of older apps and applications, especially for businesses who don't update those um, legacy apps or legacy software. So I think Windows 10 continues to offer better support for older applications. And then I think the familiarity with the whole OS on Windows 10 stands in favor of Windows 10 being preferred over Windows 11 because with Windows 11, Microsoft made um, big changes when it comes to the user interface, bringing in a lot more fluent design and so on. And Windows 10 
I would say, offers a more consistent kind of um, experience when it comes to the functionality, which allows most users to just get the job done. So you don't need to focus on, you know, where's the start menu or where's the all apps list or where's this or where's that. Um, Windows 10 still gives you that legacy kind of um, feel for the Windows OS that's been around basically since Windows 95, which a lot of users have um, come to be accustomed with. And then I think a big one is that for Windows 11, Microsoft pushes using um, you to pushes you to use a Microsoft account over a local account, and a lot of users don't like to use a Microsoft account because of the privacy side of things. So Windows 10 still allows you to create and use local accounts a lot more easily than Windows 11 does. So I think that's a big one that I think a lot of users are in favor for. And in regards to the end of support for Windows 10, Microsoft has announced that they will end support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October next year, 2025. So you've still got a year and a bit, um, according to Microsoft, to receive your security updates, your quality updates, and so on. And according to the last stat counter video I posted regarding the Windows um, version um, uh, market share by stat counter, those global stats, Windows 10 was sitting, I think, still above 65%. And because of this, I personally still feel, and I've said this many times on the channel, I personally still feel that Microsoft will not end support next year in October 2025 for Windows 10. And um, who knows, Microsoft could always end up extending the support. So that is another, especially for businesses, um, I think that's another feather in Windows 10's cap. But there you go, a couple of kind of reasons why Windows 10 could be better than Windows 11. Um, obviously, I know this may cause a bit of debate, but just let me down, know down in the comments. Um, what do you think? Personally, I use Windows 11 more for the channel than I use Windows 10, but I use Windows 10 more on a personal basis. And when it comes to Windows 11, I don't have a major issue with Windows 11. I think my biggest problem with Windows 11 is um, the File Explorer and all the security aspects that Microsoft is trying to push into Windows 11 that to some extent or the other, end up using more system resources than they should and cause a lot of more problems, especially with Windows updates, cause more problems than they are actually trying to fix. But other than that, um, I don't have an issue with Windows 11. I personally prefer Windows 10. But let me know what you think down in the comments. It would be interesting to hear some good constructive feedback from you guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.